when you do through an object up it creates the two component of the velocity it creates the vertical velocity and it creates the horizontal velocity we know that this is how we can create a projectile motion and it it creates parabola you saw that now we want to see how long the bottle water bottle was in the air and also we want to know a few other things we want to know the distance is traveled i'm on the rooftop of my building and i throw a ball from the rooftop so this is my hand all right and this is the ground the ball when i throw the ball from my hand it goes up 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 and then it touches the ground it touches the ground at time t we want to find this t okay how long the ball was the how long the ball is in the year that's what we want to find we we know a few other things we know initial velocity is 15 meter per second we know that this is important information with this information we'll be able to quickly find the time all right so let's find the time so y is equal to y naught plus v naught t plus half a t square so y so this is we know that this is negative 50 meters so you're going to say negative 50 this is zero why not is zero because this is my hand x and y this is zero comma zero so this is zero plus v naught is 15 so 15 t today we're going to use acceleration due to gravity is negative 10 so you know that acceleration due to gravity is equal to negative 9.8 but today we're going to use negative 10 so that i don't have to use b negative b plus minus v squared minus 4ac over 2a i don't have to use this formula okay otherwise if i do use negative 9.8 i have to use this formula i don't want to use this formula okay but um, all right so negative uh, plus a half negative 10 t square so what do we have negative 50 is equal to 15 t minus 5 t square so i have a quadratic equation so yes projectile motion creates parabola you see that the second degree polynomial now i can rewrite it as 5 t squared minus 15 t plus 50 is equal to 0 negative 50 negative 50 okay so now i have the greatest common factor is 5 so t square minus 3t minus 10 is equal to 0. all right so we have to find two number we have to find two number whose product is negative 10 and sum is negative 3. so which two number can give me the sum of negative 3 and product is negative 10. okay very simple um 5 and 2. so negative 5t plus 2t minus 10 is equal to 0. you see that the sum of this two number is negative 3 and the product of this number this two number is negative 10. so t t minus 5 plus 2 t minus 5. okay so i have t minus 5 t plus 2. so this is called extraneous root because the time cannot be negative so t minus 5 is 0 so then t is 5. So yeah, it took five seconds. It took five seconds. So the ball, how long the ball was in the air? Five seconds. So let's put it in quadratic, let's put it in coordinate system. So I'm gonna now put it in coordinate system. Five seconds. So this is my hand. So this is one. Uh, so ball leaves here and it makes parabola okay and it, this is five second and then it falls so i'm gonna make it a green okay so this one is red okay 
All right, so ball leaves here, we know that with initial velocity 15 meter per second, okay. We also know that the velocity at the top, so velocity is zero, and then over here, so why velocity is zero? If you throw something in the air, it changes the, it changes the direction at the maximum height. So velocity is zero at the maximum height. So the, the marker, when marker go up, 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 it stops and is go down. So the marker has to stop to change the direction. So that means its velocity is zero. So on the, at the top, at maximum height, the velocity is zero. Okay. So now you want to know the distance from here to here. So distance of this, of this blue line. Uh, distance of this blue line. Okay. Let's find the distance of this blue line. How can we find the distance of this blue line? So, very easy. Vf square is equal to vi square plus 2ad. All right, this is y component at the y direction. Y direction is because this is free fall. The object is in free fall. Y direction because the object is in free fall. Okay, so this is 0 and this is 15 squared plus 2. We're going to say we're going to use negative 10. So negative 10 D. Okay, or you can use 9.8. It doesn't really matter. Negative 9.8. I think I can handle it with your calculator. So now D is 11.5. How did I get D is 11.5? Let's see whether that makes sense. So 0 is equal to 225 minus 19.6 D. So 19.6 D is equal to 225. So D is equal to 11.5 meter. So this is 11.5 meter. Okay, if this is 11.5 meter, then this green is supposed to be also 11.5 meter because this is symmetric. So this is also negative 11.5 meters. Okay, this is symmetric. All right. If we talk about distance, which we are talking about distance, then we take the absolute value. Okay. Now we are talking about this red part. Okay. This is we know that 50, negative 50. So this is negative 50. So let's add them up. So add, add up the red, add up the green, and add up the blue. So red plus green plus blue. So the red is 11.5, 11.5 plus Green is, let's say green, negative 11.5. Oops. Negative 11.5. Plus, blue is negative 50. Blue is negative 50. So if you calculate them, you get 73 meters. Okay, now finally we're going to find the displacement. Displacement is the Displacement, we're going to find it using this formula, 73. I believe this is 73. So this is, yeah, 73. 23 plus 50 is 73 meters. Okay, now we're going to find the displacement. VIT plus half AT squared. Let's see whether we can use this formula to find the displacement. Um, No, we cannot use this formula. So we're gonna have to use this formula. Vf is equal to Vi plus at. No. So let's use this formula. Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 2ad. All right. So Vf squared is zero. Vi squared is two to five plus. No, we cannot use this. So. D is equal to VIT plus half AT squared. Okay, I'm going to use this one, displacement. So displacement is equal to V is 15, T is 5, it, it 
took five seconds. Uh, minus, um, let's say ten. Minus uh, half or plus half, negative ten, and t is twenty-five. So d is seventy-five minus one twenty-five. Right, 125. Yeah, so then D is negative uh, 75 minus 125. Is it 50? Oh, voila, so this is 50. D is 50 meter. So, how does that make sense? Let's see how it makes sense. The displacement, we know that D final minus D initial. Okay, so what is D final? D final is right here. Let's make this is the D final. Okay, what is D initial? This is the D initial. Okay, all right. So then this is negative 50. And yeah, it is obvious that why it makes sense why it is negative 50. Okay.